the aircraft commander uh, does have final authority on how the mission and the uh, on and the personnel on the aircraft. So I'm a have a leadership role, and so without that designation, um, it can be tough to get uh, things done and the mission successful without someone standing up front and being the one in charge to kind of help um, lead the fight. I joined the Air Force uh, mostly because my family has a long history of military. My grandfather and grandmother were both in the Air Force, uh, which trickled down to my father and his three brothers uh, who are in the Coast Guard. So military has always been part of my family. Specifically why the Air Force, uh, I can remember watching the movies Top Gun and just being obsessed with flying. So I think it was, as you would say, my destiny to kind of be around flying. Uh, there's other opportunities in different um, military services. Uh, I had an opportunity and very lucky and blessed to go to the United States Air Force Academy. And so I chose that and then followed suit and was lucky to get through pilot training and now I'm pilot in the Air Force. For approximately 13 years, we've been overseas supporting conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we're proud to, uh, to be part of the Tucson and Davis Monthan Air Force Base community. We are charged with supporting uh, ground units, again, that are overseas uh, in the conflict right now, uh, supporting their operations, basically in support of operations against uh, terrorists. So counterterrorism is what we were involved with as far as uh, the electronic attack capability that we can use to uh, deny, degrade command and control of the adversary. We're, we're a very, very unique asset, uh, specifically a C-130 asset. This aircraft behind us is uh, approximately 45 years old. They have over 24,000 flying hours on them. Uh, the folks that maintain them, we kind of nickname, nickname them as the world's best maintainers, just because the airframe are so old. Uh, so there is no other airframe that does exactly what, uh, what this platform does. A weapons officer for the 55th Electronic Combat Group. I uh, work in the 755th Operational Support Squadron. So I'm in charge of all the weapons and tactics uh, for the entire group, make sure that we're using the most up-to-date tactics and techniques to engage uh, enemy uh, networks. We, uh, as adversaries get new equipment and updated communications technologies, then we need to adapt in order to engage those. So as we get uh, upgrades for the aircraft, then we have to adjust our tactics as well to make sure we're doing as much damage to enemy uh, networks as possible. Uh, Compass Call is a heavily modified C-130 cargo aircraft. It has sophisticated jamming equipment to deny and disrupt enemy communications and their networks. The uh, enemy cannot communicate, they can't coordinate, and they can't make decisions. And an uh, enemy that, uh, or anybody that is unable to make decisions is rendered uh, useless and uh, ineffective in the combat environment. I actually got to uh deploy to Afghanistan and actually employ my skills that I learned through tech school and see the difference we make for the troops on the ground out there. Um, I come from a military background. My mother served 24 years in the, in the Air Force and I also have a brother in the Air Force as well. So at a young age, I knew I was going to join the Air Force. Based on the data that we're receiving from our airborne cryptologic language analysts, correctly identifying any threat enemy communications, keeping bad guy A from talking to bad guy B, um, we're going to make sure that we kinetically or non-kinetically take care of those guys so that they cannot coordinate or do anything bad to our guys on the ground. I've been deployed with this unit six times to Afghanistan and Kuwait. The mission out there is completely different from the training mission here uh, at home station. The mission out there is it's very vital to actually do our job by the TO, safety, everything and on time so that our aircraft can get to where it needs to be in support of you know coming home and you know our parents will ask us our friends will ask us how was it you know what was it like over there and to be honest I tell people a lot is you take the city of Tucson out of Tucson and Afghanistan really looks like here to be honest I think it's uh, one of the greatest decisions I've made in my life I love absolutely love the way my daughter looks at me in uniform when she she sees me and she stands there when we're, you know, when the national anthem is playing. It's absolutely amazing. She knows, you know, five o'clock on base, boom, national anthem is going to play. Even in the car, she'll ask, you know, can we get out? Can I stand there with my hand over my heart? Yes, absolutely. It's awesome.